everybody, please stand for the prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Where mm, got my energy again? Good morning, everyone. Okay, before you take your seats, I want you to pick some piece of paper under your chairs and make your rows read. Okay, thank you for your attendance. Stay present if your name is called. Okay, very good, everyone. Everyone is present today. Now, who can tell me what our topic last meeting? Yes. Okay, last meeting we discussed about verb. When we say verb, it is a word that show an action, occurrence, or state of being. Now, we will have an activity. For this activity, I need five volunteer students. So, directions for this activity. The five volunteer students who We'll need to pick a number from 1 to 5 and act out the chosen words that written on the card. And the rest of the class will guess what they are doing. Am I understood? Okay, so I will give you 5 minutes for this activity. Timer starts now. Okay, time is up. Again, what are the words that they perform? Okay, planting, dancing, playing, singing. And learning. Very good, everyone. Now, we will have an activity again. But this time, it is listening activity. So, si teacher, I will play an audio clip. Then, you will take a note and listen attentively because I will ask you a few questions later. And make sure to identify the words that end in ing. So, am I understood? Okay. Okay, after, you, after listening the audio clip, what is the audio clip about? Okay, the audio clip about, it tells that someone's, someone's everyday routine and the activities they enjoy throughout the day. So, what actions or activities do the audio clip describe in how the, in how the day contribute to the message? Okay, Dairupa. Okay, very good, Dairupa. So, what have you observed about the words that you listen? Okay, it always end in ing. So, why there is always ing in every word that you listen? Can anyone in this class can tell me what our lessons for today? Hola. So, are you familiar with Duran class? No? Oh, don't worry because today we will be discussing what is Duran and the uses of Duran. So, are you ready? Okay, before we start, I want you to read our objectives. Okay, thank you. So, what is a Duran? So, a Duran is a, 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 Duran is a type of purple. It ends in ing and act as a noun. So, gerando no is a word that always ends in ing and act as a noun. For example, walking in the park is a relaxing way to spend the afternoon. So, the word walking here is the gerando word in the sentence. How about this one? Reading books enhances our knowledge and broadens our perspective. For you, what is the gerando word in the sentence? Okay, very good. The word. Reading is the Duran word in this sentence. So, any questions regarding about Duran? Okay, well, none. So, now let's proceed to the uses of Duran in a sentence. So, there are five uses of Duran in a sentence. First is subject, second, direct object, third is subjective complement, and fourth is object of proposition, and last is a positive. Again, what are the five uses of gerund in a sentence? Subject, direct object, subjective complement, object of, of a preposition, and a positive. So, any questions regarding our topic? No? Okay. So, now, I want you to choose a partner because we will have a, a short writing task. So, Nano my partner? Okay, so Nano my partner, so in a, each firm will write at least three sentences with a correct Duran usage in a sentence. So I will give you five minutes for this activity. Okay, timer starts now. Okay, time is up. 
pass your paper. Okay, now I want you to answer this exercise. I want you to answer this exercise. So, directions for this exercise. Everyone, listen. Complete each sentence with a gerund form from the word before the sentence. So, telling the word teach, you need to make it into a gerund form. So, dali rakay no. So, I will give you three minutes for this activity because it is very easy. Okay. Okay, time is up. So, now let's check out your words. So, okay. So, who got highest score? Okay, everyone. Very good, everyone. Got a perfect score. So, for your assignment, write a short paragraph, three to five sentences about one of your hobbies or interests. Using at least three gerunds, underline the gerunds used in your paragraph and write it in a one half sheet of paper. One half, mom, yes, for one half. Okay, so any questions regarding our topic for today? No? Again, what is the gerund? A word that always end in ing and act as a noun. So, what are the five uses of gerund in sentence? Subject, direct object, subject to complement, object of a preposition, and a positive. So that's all for today. Thank you class for your cooperation and ang pingmo sa inyo pag-ulit and class dismissed.